When you are in business, what is the one thing that you do on a daily basis? Sell. That's right. So whether you are in business or if you are a salesperson or even in your daily life, you know, you might be coming across sales and negotiations on a daily basis in different circumstances. So you'll be coming across prospective clients, whether you are in a networking event, you might be going for an exhibition or you might be cold calling or any other meetings that you would attend. So even after your cold calling, finally, you might be getting to arrange a meeting with a prospective client or a prospective customer. So what are those best questions that you need to ask them when you are arranging a meeting with a prospective customer? That's what you're going to be talking about in today's video. So number one, is your warming up stage or your icebreaker stage. So this is the stage when you meet them and say hello and you need something to break that initial conversation or break the ice as we say. And I'm a great fan of just, you know, starting off with complimenting them. So that's what you can do as well. So it could be something that you are complimenting about the person or it could be something that, you know, you, you could bring some similarities between both of you and then trying to connect, uh, bring the connection there. Or it could be something that you admire about the company, about from the research you have done so you would be saying i really love the fact that you know your company does this this and this so can you tell me how did you do that or you could say that i see that um, during covid times as well you guys really sustained through those uh, tough really tough times so how did you guys manage to do that so that could be like an icebreaker question or you could say that maybe you have seen her LinkedIn profile and you can say that I see that you have worked with a lot of large organizations. So can you tell me a bit more about your business journey of how you have become into this position now? So something like that is your icebreaker question. And the second stage after this icebreaker is your introduction stage where now we are trying to understand a bit more about the business. Okay, so you could say questions like, okay, so tell me a bit more about your uh, business. So this is the opportunity for you to understand more about the business from them. Okay, remember one important, important point at this stage, research, research, research. You should have done your research about the company and the person you are meeting, you know, beforehand or beforehand of your meeting. So I know that sound, that sound that sounded a bit complicated. So before the meeting, get ready and research about the company and the person. Okay, so you can go to their website. You can check out them on um, LinkedIn. You can see who their customers are, what the product portfolio is. Like if you go to their website, the about us and the product portfolio and everything you can see. Who are their competitors? Who are their distributors? And what are the types of products that they have in their portfolio? Is there any similar product similar to yours that they are selling? Or what are their pricing points? So what product price are they selling it at? Is there any gap in the product portfolio that you could fit into? So these are the kind of things that you would do the research just to understand what are the pain points of those customers. Be well prepared before the meeting. And always remember while in the meeting, when the customer is talking, be a listener because in sales or in negotiation, it's always important to be listening rather than talking because you want to make them spill the beans and so that you can try and understand what are the things they are talking about? What are the issues? What are the challenges they are facing? If they are having any uh, you know, problems coming up in the future, always try to listen as much as you can. After that, you move on to the next stage, which is stage number three, which is understanding the customer's pain points. So first we had the icebreaker, then we had the introduction, and then we are getting into the, the, the crux of the business where we are trying to understand what are the problems that they are facing. So a few questions that could, you could ask at this stage are, so what has been the biggest challenge that you have been facing with your competitors? Or what has been the biggest challenge in the last uh, couple of years during COVID? So what was it that you had to pivot, you know, your business? So come try and bring about those challenges. Ask those questions and then pause. Who are you doing business with now? Or who is your distributor now? And how is your relationship with them? And can I ask why you went ahead with the distributor? Why did you choose them? 
and how would you describe their services so is it good are you receiving a good service from your current suppliers as well and how are their pricing points are you quite happy with the quality of your products again try to make sure that you ask them open ended questions rather than closed ended questions because if like one of the questions which i just said now are you happy with the quality of the products if that is a closed ended question so it will be a yes or a no so you have to try to make sure that you ask a open ended question where you can give them in a, an opportunity to answer more to you so that it can bring another question follow up that that as well and another question can be where do you see growth opportunities in the coming next the 12 months or which of the products in your portfolio you think brings you the maximum revenue or what the success look like for you for your company in the next 12 months and once they say the answer you can say you can ask so what is it that is holding you back after that we get into the qualifying stage qualifying stage is to make sure you are sitting in front of a person who is a decision maker or you are sitting in front of the right person who can you know close the deal so here you could ask questions like could you tell me a bit more about the whole process that's involved for uh, listing new products within your company or listing new products within your portfolio so what are the stages that's involved for you to list a new product and following up with that you could say who else would be involved in the decision process so would it have to be signed by the buyer or the buying manager or do you need the director to be signing it as well so i just want to understand the entire process this stage is quite important because usually what happens is we you know we spend like one hour uh, talking to them and trying to sell our products and saying what are the advantages the disadvantages how we can help them out and all these kind of things after this one hour meeting you might realize he is not the person who makes the decision so it is very very important you know in the meeting itself right through the beginning or even towards the middle of the meeting you try to understand if he is the one who is able to make the decision or does he have to consult with somebody else or does he have to uh, you know go to the higher authorities to make the decision so that accordingly you can tweak your pitch when you are talking to them so that's very very important you try to understand is the person in the meeting the decision maker and finally we come to the closing stage so which is where you know most of the sales depends on you know closing the deal here the most easiest question to ask is okay so what's the next step or so how shall we proceed then how would you say we shall proceed now you could you could ask something like that as a closing question when you are asking that you also need to put in a timeline as well just don't let just don't leave the meeting as an open ended meeting because when you say okay uh, so let's set up a phone call next monday at uh, 10 o'clock to see you know what what your decision is or you could say okay i will get back uh, you know to my office and send you an email with the different options that we could support you with um, increasing your sales revenue or uh, i'll provide you with the pricing of the products that we spoke about today and the margins that you can have and so maybe we could set up a follow up meeting or a follow up uh, phone call um next tuesday is that okay so that is how you try and get them to commit something for the next meeting before you leave this meeting so a quick recap of the entire sales process when you are going for your buyers meeting is first is your warming up stage when you are warming up with your icebreaker questions second is your introduction stage when you are talking about the introduction when they are telling them to introduce about the company then is your understanding the pain point stage where you are trying to understand what are the challenges they face after which you try to qualify the customer so qualifying stage and finally you are closing the deal so those are the five stages which is involved when you are closing the you know the deal or when you go for the your buyers meeting or your customers meeting so do let me know in the comments below when you have used these questions and if they have been helpful how many of these questions you have used in your um, business as well so that will be really good to hear so i will come back with another topic in my uh, next video until then take care bye bye